Hi, I'm Dr. Brent Greenberg with Carolina Vein Specialists. This video is for our current patients who have undergone a procedure in our office, including the laser procedure, the MOCA, or also known as the Clarivane procedure. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a white strip over the opening in the entry of where the doctor entered in with the needle. That strip could be on your calf or it could be on your thigh. Over that, there is a brown wrap to give the leg some additional support, and then there's your stocking on over that. Ideally, we'd like to keep that white strip on your skin for at least two weeks. It will come off later, but we try to keep it on for that two-week period of time. The wrap it would be nice to stay on your leg until your follow-up with us, which is typically two to three days after your procedure. But sometimes these wraps can get loose and they can slide down the leg and bunch up around the knee or the ankle. Or particularly wraps that are underneath the knee on the calf, they can sometimes be on a little too tight. And what you may feel is a sensation of cramping in the leg, burning sensations in the shin, or sometimes the foot or ankle might swell. If any of those things happen, whether it's on too loose or it's on too tight, we want you to pull the stocking down below it, unwrap the, the wrap and throw it away, but leave the white strip on your skin and pull the stocking back over, over it. Now we want you to keep that stocking on around the clock for the first three days. That means you're going to sleep with it on, you're going to wear it day and night and not take it off. And you'll need to keep it dry in the shower as well. The way you can do that is the first thing you will do is take a bath towel and fold it lengthwise a few times. Then wrap that folded towel up at the top of your thigh and then duct tape it to itself to hold it in place. Then you'll step your leg into a trash bag and tuck the top of the trash bag in between the towel and your leg. That way, whatever leaks through the top, the towel will be there to absorb it. Following those three days, you'll only need to wear the stocking during the day for the next seven days. You don't have to sleep it any longer unless it feels better to do so. And when you start to shower without the stocking on, at that point it's okay if that strip on your leg gets wet in the shower, but we don't want you to soak in a tub or swim, fly in an airplane, or carry heavy objects much over 30 pounds for the next two weeks. But we do want you to walk, Treadmill, elliptical cycle, bicycle, all of those activities are great for your leg, particularly on the day of the treatment itself. You'll notice that the doctor has recommended you start taking a pain reliever like Motrin or Advil. Typically we have you start taking that around dinner time and sometimes an additional dose before bedtime. Check your instruction sheet to find out how much you should take. The following days, if you find the need to take the medicine, switch to something like Aleve if you can tolerate that and you don't have any contraindication to do so. Aleve stays in the system a little bit longer and it's easier on your stomach if you need to take the medicine more than a few days. You'll start to notice that there'll be some bruising on your thigh or, or your calf. There might be a tight tugging pulling sensation beginning a few days after the procedure and that's normal because that's the vein beginning to scar down and close up. If you had a procedure on your thigh, you may notice that you'll get some swelling up in the groin region. If it's down about the lower part of the calf, it might actually happen behind the knee. Either way, we'd like you to start to ice pack those areas behind the knee or in the groin area that evening following your treatment. Usually leave it on for no more than 20 minutes and particularly at the top of your thigh where you don't have any covering from your stocking, make sure you put a sheet or a towel between your skin and the ice pack so you don't injure your skin. Okay, that's all you really need to know. If you have further questions, you can contact us at 336-218-VEIN, uh, V-E-I-N, that's 218-8346, or you can reach the on-call physician on, on the phone number provided on your post-operative surgical sheet. I'm Dr. Brent Greenberg, Carolina Vein Specialist. Thank you.